Hello again, dudes and dudettes. Welcome back to I'm the Dude Games. My name is I'm the Dude 5. Today we'll be continuing LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 with Gwenpool Mission number 3. Dude, where's my dragon? <clears throat> we are in uh, medieval England here, and as the name pertails, pretty sure you can figure out what's going to take place in this mission. So without further ado, here we go. So I'll talk all modern-like and tell you the tale of King Arthur and the dragon. <laughs> Are you slouching comfortably? Then I'll begin. Once upon a time, King Arthur Pendragon was getting all riled up, thinking people were doubting his kingliness. Even though he'd done the whole business with the sword and the stone, and King is, like, his first name. Naturally, Merlin was like, Cool at your kingship, you're acing the whole king gig. All the peasants are big fans. But his kingliness was all like, maybe, but the only way I'll be a real old school king is if I totally slay a dragon. Difficult to find though, you're an actual dragon. Fortunately, Merlin has an app on his wand that finds local available dragons for the slaying. Hmm, one in the basement of Garrett Castle? Seems a little too easy to me. Could it be a trap? Even if it is, it'll make an awesome boss fight. Where art thou, fiendish dragon? Show thy ugly face! Sire, we must be careful. I sense a great magical presence in the air. Ah, my dear friend Merlin. You forget that I wield the Sword of Excalibur! Magic is no match for the true king of Camelot! But TRUE BELIEVER! Whether it be your fancy magic or the flames of a brutish beast, I shall defeat whomever stands in my way to prove that I am the worthy king of these strange lands. Well... Uh, yes... Very good, sire. This puzzle can get a little tricky. You have to rewind the clock and it resets the whole trap system. And that, um, that wooden platform at the end does tend to move in and out, so you gotta be careful of the spinning spike turbines and the dragon is through the gate ahead. And stuff. Took me a few took me a couple of minutes to actually get into the room across the way, so I'm just gonna go ahead and after I rewind this clock, I'm gonna go ahead and cut to where I actually get past all that. Onwards, old friend. Give me a hand, will ya? Hunger, dragon! Feel the wrath of Excalibur! I'm gonna collect a fair amount of studs first because I still gotta get my stud count up in order to get the other uh, stud multiplying pink bricks. They are costly. Very, very costly. But as soon as you get them, your stud count goes through the roof. So it's not really too hard to get your stud count back up once you get the multipliers going. Thank you. 
Morgana! I should have known I would find you lurking in such a dark and dastardly place. Tell me, what pathetic schemes have you cooked up in your cauldron pot of witchcraft this time? My dear, dim-witted half-brother, I'm afraid your time on this world has run out. Now, Morgan Le Fay rules supreme. Finally, I can take my place as the true ruler of... Yes, yes, do get on with it. Merlin and I have tickets to the pig jousting this afternoon. Indeed we do, Like, I have no time for your shit, Morgana. Let's get on with this. <laughs> Your parlor tricks are no match for my power. Oh, I beg to differ. It is such a pity. I really wanted to battle a dragon today. Oh, I really wanted to battle a dragon. Good. Earn the burn. Stomping your feet, and pouting like a little child. I can't really say the story of King Arthur is one of my favorites. It's gotten a little, it's gotten way, a little, 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 it's gotten a way, way too overplayed throughout the years. <laughs> and I somehow got stuck behind this spike pillar. By the way, guys, there's a new game that came out recently called uh, Vampire, spelled with a Y. Um, I've been watching some gameplay of it, and it looks pretty interesting. So uh, let me know in the comment section below, guys, if you guys want to see me uh, start to do a series on that. Um, I know I have a bunch of other games that I'm already doing a series on, and I'm trying to focus on those mainly. But I think it would be nice to kind of do you know, something different, something that I don't usually do. It's not really a horror game, but it kind of looks like a single-player um mystery thriller type of thing I guess from what I've seen so far but it looks like an interesting game and it looks like something that I might want to get and do a series on so ouch you shall both dearly regret that you pathetic insects how dare you think you can defeat me <laughs> you have to do a fair amount of teamwork between Merlin and King Arthur in order to <clears throat> get past these these puzzles. Like you have to send one person up first to slash the vine so that way Merlin can get up there and work his magic. And then King Arthur obviously being the one with the acrobatic skill. this far, but now you shall both meet your doom. You wanted to face a dragon. Well, I can do better than that. Observe! Ha! Better than a dragon? Enough of these childish playground antics, Morgana. Come down here and face me. Very well. But first, I'd like to introduce you to my new pet. Really a Cree sentry? Oh my goodness! What an odd looking fellow. Look out, sire! Oh dear! <laughs> yes! Yes! Destroy them, my pet! <laughs>
I'm gonna turn this crease entry into a court jester. This beast may be a colorful foe, but I don't see how such an item could help us win this battle. Hast thou misplaced thy marbles? Nay, sir. <laughs> Hast thou misplaced thy marbles? Remarkable! Look! The creature dances like a court jester! Stop that! What are you doing? Exposing the battery pack on his back. His battery pack backpack. So that way I can just, you know, zap it and destroy it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So Arthur didn't slay a dragon, but he has to be happy with blitzing that Cree sentry into a bazillion pieces, right? And maybe now old Artie will stop worrying about if he's worthy and start actually doing proper king stuff, like... Uh, waving, opening malls, burning spinning wheels? Standard King stuff. Tip of the pointy hat to Merlin too for bringing the pain to Morgana. He sure rolled some critical hits on that female MU. What? M U. Total D and D reference. As in magic user. Methinks thou doth need to brush up on RPG the old lingo. RPG lingo. Pretty much. It's been such a long time since I've played a good game of uh of D and D. I kind of miss it. Any who's in. So that'll do it for Dude, Where's My Dragon? Got our gold brick for completion. And our gold brick for True Believer. We did not obtain the pink brick in this one, did not rescue Stanley, and we did not unlock the secret character for this level. So we'll have to do that in the 100% walkthrough. So we unlocked Morgan Le Fay, or I prefer to say Morgana Le Fay. I don't, I don't like the way, the way that there's like inconsistencies in that character's name in this game. Pretty sure it's Morgana Le Fay. <clears throat> Alrighty, dudes, that'll do it for this episode. I want to thank everyone so much for watching. My name has been I'm the Dude 5. This is I'm the Dude Games. Please subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon to be notified whenever I do a new upload. Uh, like this video as well as any others of mine that you may enjoy, including the one I provide on screen. Also follow me on Twitter, link in the description below, and I'll provide an annotation on screen to my friend Knight the Wolf's YouTube channel. Be sure to like and subscribe to him as well. Thanks again so much for watching guys. As always, stay classy. I'll see you all out there in the Marvel Universe.